help to get a consulting study analysis done to kind of look at what could be done to save this city. And I'll state it again. I am for an independent, self-sustained East Cleveland. In my mind, we can make it on our own. Times will get a little tough, but we can come through it. Growing up the way I did, I have no problem uh, working hard and you know, sharing meals. At any rate, so we went, we sought out the lawyers to get the consultant, to get funding from one of the foundations. One of the pieces of legislation here tonight will get us hopefully that funding to start that study so that we can see what options are available. We asked for an independent firm, not biased, outside representative, meaning outside of Northeast Ohio and not affiliated with Northeast Ohio. Many of you know the issues we had with previous studies as they come through case and Those. And then a nationally recognized firm in this area. We found one who actually worked on the rebuilding of Detroit, Conway McKinsey. So we're hoping to enlist them and hoping that the second piece of legislation will get the funding. We can bring them online and then do a study, not just a study, but we want an alternative to this annexation. Right? Hopefully, well, what we're saying, not hopefully, we're saying we want something else on the ballot that can be voted on as an alternative to the annexation. With the annexation piece, we are naming three commissioners. And again, as it's been stated, and I'll state it again, it, it will come back to a vote of the people. And I heard it mentioned here, it does not state in the law that they have to be an East Cleveland resident. So, thank you. It's a uh, tough process. Uh, once again, like a lot of you all, probably to the community, uh, I don't want to see the city merge, but I want to see the people get the quality services that they, serve, that they should receive. If that takes a merger and annexation, then so be it. Sometimes medicine is strong, but it's good for you. Uh, and the same medicine you all take, I'll take because I'm a resident of the city and been here all my life. Um, once again, I read off the names of those that we have interviewed, embedded, and uh, we're going to move on to the legislation now, ordinance number 416. Mr. President? Other, 
other alternates and people who came in for interviews actually recognize the need for that. And we have it. I would like to have it as part of the ordinance. So I'd like ordinance number 416 to be amended to include exhibit A, memorandum of understanding, which all the counselors have in front of them. Mm -hmm. and, and I would like that read to the minutes tonight as we read the legislation itself. Discussion. This is for the we've been calling vote for the uh, amendment to the 0416 with the memorandum of understanding that we went over. Before we call the vote, we got the I, I just want to mention a, a couple of things. Uh, in this exhibit A, it says the language may be subject to changes in working documents, so you're not locked in. It's just a suggestion. Well, one thing, like in section four, I'll read it briefly, and this is my opinion. It says an annual merger incentive payment in amount of ten million from the state, ten million from the state of Ohio to the city of Cleveland earmarked for each Cleveland debt. Well, once we work this, ten million is just a drop in the bucket. I think minimally, this is my bias or or, or how I see it, at least fifty million. That's one part of Exhibit A. The other one in Section 8, it talks about the maintenance of the East Cleveland Parks and suggested that the Metro Parks might be able to do it. Hopefully that may come about. And then it said in Section 14, the voting boundaries will be defined as the ward of East Cleveland and remain unchanged for a minimum of 10 years. Those were some of the highlights that stood out and there's more to the document, there's three pages. But the key thing is that We've kind of discussed this, and it's, it's a start. And I just want to make it publicly known that our commissioners are not really locked in to doing this, but this is something that, these are some suggestions that we feel a direction that you should look at. Okay? Yeah, what you're meaning, right. thank you. Should be so, with, thank you, Mr. President, with this memorandum of understanding, before we move to hold on the changes to the ordinance, I see fit that we name the commissioners. Okay. 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 So, I second it. Second it. Okay. So, for the discussion, I'd just like to reiterate what Councilman Martin said. This, these are just suggestions, and we know that the people that we selected are consummate professionals and have been in high level negotiations and will do their best. It's not thank you. You call the right Councilor Martin. Yay. Councilor Thomas. Yay. Councilor Brown. Yay. Councilor Vice President. You did. Yay. You want to want me to read it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Councilor President. Read it into the record. You want to read the whole document? No, just yes, the, um, the amendment. The amendment, yes. Yeah. Okay, so now that, yeah, it is ready, but now that we've, now that we've accepted the amended ordinance, is it possible we could name the commissioners, give them the documents as we read it into the minutes, and many of them that we talked to during the interview,